Hey guys, it appears to be serious issues about building proposed government house at Izachi in our local government area of Imo State. As some stakeholders in the community have queried the sincerity of those behind the project. They noted that the, the entire scenario is strange to them, adding that they woke up one day and saw some health moving equipment at the old barracks close to a K Izachi Market Square. When they attempted to find out what was happening, they met a man who claimed to be a staff of Kramibor Construction Company, but later turned out to be a laborer and not an engineer as he previously claimed. He further stated that the previous week, some leaders of the community were invited to Wiri by a group of people who claimed to have gotten approval from the federal government to build a housing estate on the same location at Izachi. Shortly after the uh, counter, these people came with the proposal to build a government house in the area making the whole thing look suspicious and dubious. That is why eventually every person in Izachi community is agitated. A prominent leader in the area who confounded in our reporter about the issue said they would not want what happened to all new people when the former governor, Rocha Sokorocha, appointed uh, a Iche best as mayor of Olu and later the commissioner for works shortly after uh, Iche Brest was sacked as commissioner it became obvious that virtually all what he claimed and did with the purported approval and endorsement of the governor were not known to the later. He record how he went to Umowa and came uh, in Duke, Ukwado, and persuaded them to give their land for the building of an NNPC mega petrol station, which the government had purportedly approved. He also assured the people that those who willingly gave out their land will be compensated with 100,000 naira each. Based on this, most, most of the villagers hurriedly gave out the land out of fear. Today, it is on record that Iche Brest later built a personal filling station on the same site. The source also stated that Iche Brest, in the same manner, went to Wosu Avenue in Olu and told the people of the area that he wanted to con contract a Dwa lane and urge them to vacate the the area paving way for the demolition of people's ancestral homes only for him to build a personal hotel on the large expanse of land. In view of all this, it is not as if we are against the government developing the area. What we are against is a situation where some dubious people will use the name of government to appropriate our land in questionable circumstances. When contacted, the President General of Iziche Community, Chief Uche, confirmed that nobody reached out to them. He aligned with those who said that they wake up one morning and saw earth moving equipment at the location in question, making the entire scenario look suspicious. We are presently in the dark about what is happening here. However, we have been told to come to Olu on Wednesday next week. It is after going to, please pardon me, Oweri, on Wednesday next week. It is after going to Oweri that we will know the next line of action. For now, we are keeping our fingers crossed. Meanwhile, it was gathered that a traditional ruler in the area is among those spearheading the project. Hmm. This man 
desperately wants to destroy human states. Um, it is illegal that the government government house will be built in Onlu. Uh, the capital city remains weary. That means two different governments are now in place. Okay, uh, these are reactions from uh, Nigerians. You will continue to keep your fingers across waiting for hopeless Uzodima to take all your land for cheap. Wow. Hmm. A lot of people are taking too much. They don't own Imo states. Uzodima is simply sick and demented. Why every bad thing start from Imo states? Okay. New strategy for land grabbing. These government functionaries using the clock of government accusation to grab land should be made to face the music soon. After leaving office, let them pay for such land at the present value. How man go the cheat fellow man because of small appointments? Now, wow. Nigerians go say things they happen no. Some people, hey, they are very far from God, though. Hey, there are things you don't just do. There are some people, they don't have fear of God at all. I better make a drop out for you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Thank you.